Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Justenia. So today I'm filming an exciting video for me which is a plant haul and it's actually a wish plant haul. If you guys watched my previous video, I talk about all the plants that I want to get this year. Actually, I filmed that video back in the beginning of February but I didn't have time to edit it so I just posted it in March. So most of the plants that I have right now, they've been with me for almost a month. So yeah, if you guys want to see my wish list plant haul then just keep on watching i think i'm gonna start with this plant right here which this one is a mykins a philodendron mykins and now if you guys see this plant is not in the best shape it came from home depot which honestly like home depot and lowe's i don't i don't know what they're doing with their plants they over water their plants so much i don't understand why uh, when I got her, it was the last plant that they had and I couldn't believe I saw her in my, you know, local store because I've been, I haven't been able to find this plant. I've only seen it online. So I was like, okay, even though it's not like in the best shape, I think uh, on camera it's looking better than what it is in person. But I was like, even though it's not in the best shape, I feel like she could she could grow better with me. Um, I removed a lot of dead leaves that it came with. So, yeah, it still has some couple sad leaves like this, and I don't know if you can tell, like, this leaf is dying. I didn't want to remove it yet because there's other leaves coming out of it, so, yeah, but I finally got my mykins, which I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. If I am, I'll put the names here so you guys know what I'm talking about, and hopefully she grows with me and she starts giving me good leaves. <laughs> now, the other plant that I want to show you guys, this is, like, my baby. I'm so so happy I got this plant. It was really expensive. I had to order online and I hope she just survives because if she doesn't I'm gonna be so disappointed and I'll be so mad in this. <laughs> Look at this. This is my Alocasia Dragon Scale. Look at those leaves. Like oh my god. And she gave me a new baby. She's been with me for almost a month and she gave me this new baby. Um, she did lose three leaves when she came home because these do tend to lose leaves a lot. Also because I have, from my research I read, it's like usually when you get it to your home because it's acclimating to the, this place, it will probably lose a couple leaves. So one of them was already kind of dying and the other two just fell off, but there were small leaves which didn't hurt me as much <laughs> to lose them especially because it started growing a new one and oh my god this is the one that I was telling you guys that I'm gonna name Dragon Tail like the cartoons that I used to watch when I was a little girl and it's so beautiful look at the leaf I really hope it's focusing because it's trying to focus on my face and it's like we don't want to see my face we want to see this beautiful plant it's so pretty and look at the back of the leaves how pretty is that oh, this is like my baby and i'm gonna honestly the past month she's the only plant that i'm like looking over like every day do you have spider mites do you have spider mites because attempt to have spider mites and also i'm always just like please don't lose another leaf please please don't um but we'll see how she does but she's my baby and i'm so happy okay another plant that i got <laughs> um I'm not happy with this purchase. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have bought this plant. I mean, maybe she'll thrive and then I'll be happy about it. But here you go, which this is the sizes, this color. I think that's how you say it, but I'll put the name. The leaves are pretty. Like, if, if I show you guys a close-up of the leaves, the leaves are really beautiful. Like, I'm not gonna lie. They're so pretty. It has silver it has like a magenta color in the back Let's see um and then the green and it's really pretty but she just looked like she's dying um even when she came she lost a lot of leaves um in the packaging and she hasn't done nothing in the past month which I'm really upset. Then again, it is winter, so maybe she'll start thriving right now that it's getting to springtime and it's getting warm. But I don't know. It was a really expensive plant that I bought online, and 
I was just like, uh, I was suspecting more. When I saw it online, it looked fuller than again. They always put pictures that they look fuller plants. So that's why I was like, okay, the price was reasonable for what the plant looked like online. But it was not what I got. <laughs> So yeah, even on the top, see like the leaves look kind of sad. Maybe that's how this plant looks. I don't know. If you guys have this plant, let me know in the comments down below. And does it look like this? Or is it just mine? Is mine going to die? Is she going to survive? <sighs> New leaves coming out because these look so beautiful. Full. So we'll see. Okay guys, so before we continue with this plant haul, I'm actually collaborating with Modilla. They were kind enough to send me a plant stand and I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you guys. Super excited about it that they reached out to me because I was looking for a plant stand and the color of the plant stand, it matches with my home decor. I was just like, it was just meant to be. So this plant stand is an actual plant stand that could go from 8 inches to 12 inches. So it could fit any type of different plant pots that you guys have. So now let me show you guys the unboxing. So this is what comes in the box. So there's two pieces of the stand. And this is the other tools that it comes with. And it also comes with the instruction. It's pretty easy to assemble. So let me put it together. So right here you can see it has this little cutting. Both of them has that so you just insert it there. Also this product, it is handmade and the material is bamboo, so I really like the material of it. So now I'm going to put the little screw that comes with right here in the middle. Now you can put these little pads in the bottom so it doesn't scratch your floor. I'm not going to put them right now because I'm not sure which side I want to use. So there's two sizes that you could put this stand. So you could put it either this side and it'll be a little bit taller or you could flip it and put it on this side and it the pot will be a little bit lower. So this is how it would look regular I believe at the 8 inches and if you want to stand it all you do is just pull the sides. And there it becomes wider and it could go up to 12 inches. So it's pretty cool because you could honestly put any size pot and it will fit. And it's pretty easy to just put back together. Thank you so much again to Modilla for collaborating with me in this video and sending me that plant stand. And I'll leave all the information down below in the description so you guys can go follow them. And they also gave me a discount code for you guys so you guys can get a discount. So everything will be down below in the description. Okay, so now let's move on to the rest of this plant haul. So this plant was not in my wish list plant, but I got it and I just want to show you guys. Um, and this is a fern right here. I don't know what kind of fern it is. And this is my first fern. I have never had one before and I have heard that they are so picky um, and that they're hard to take care of. I don't know if it's true so let me know also in the comments how to take care of it and if they are that picky and where do you guys recommend for me to place this fern because I have no idea where to place it. I think I just saw it and it looked cute and I just got it. I was going to place it in the shelf that I have right here which you guys can't really see right now. But it doesn't really look that good right there, so I don't think it's going to go in that place. But yeah, this is just a regular fern, and it's so cute. Okay, this other plant that I want to show you guys, um, one of you guys did tell me that I could probably find it at Home Depot. When I went, there was no more. I'm pretty sure once they restock, they sell out quick, because I can't believe that now Home Depot and Lowe's are starting to have those plants. So I actually found it in Lowe's. Now it's not in the best shape, but we'll see how she does. Guys, oh my god. This is another of my baby. This is the Alocasia Black Velvet. So now kind of from looking far, from far away, 
it looks great you know it has how many one two three four five five leaves and it looks great then again i've never seen one of these in person did i mention where i got it i got it at lowe's <laughs> so i didn't find it at home depot but i found it at lowe's but so yeah so from far away it looks good i never seen one in person so i don't know if the way the leaves look to me is normal but it does have a couple leaves that are damaged which i don't know what to do or if it's just gonna stay like that so let me do a close-up um so this one you see how it has all this like the white and this little which i don't know it doesn't have spider mites I already checked it um i don't know why it looks like that this leaf is also see damage from here and it has all of that white this one is also ripped which is okay um what's the other one See, this one has a lot of white right here. Um, and me being a dummy, um, I never had one of these plants. And as you guys know from the name, it's velvet leaves. So they are really soft. And I try to clean it with a paper towel. And now I'm pretty sure if I do close up, you guys are not going to be able to see anyways. It has all this fussy stuff in the leaves now because of the paper towel. <laughs> and I'm so sad because I made it worse. And it didn't even do anything. It didn't remove all of like that white stains that it has. Um, so if you guys know how to clean these leaves so they could look a little bit nicer and remove all of that, let me know in the comments down below because I honestly have no idea how to remove all of this and now the fussy stuff that I put with the paper towel. But I'm so happy I found this and it was so cheap compared to online. It was like half price compared to online. So yeah, I'm so excited. Like honestly, not gonna lie. These two are my favorite. They're like so pretty. Okay, and the last plant that I'm gonna show you guys in this haul is gonna be this little cutie right here, which this is a Peperomia Frost. I believe that's the name and look at this little cute pot that it came with it's so cute um i actually also wanted this one for a long time i forgot about it when i saw it, i was like oh my gosh it's so cute um don't know much about it either but i'll find out <laughs> but it's, it came such a cute little pot and i got this one at lowe's okay guys so that's it for this plant haul i hope you guys like it 